Welcome back, everyone. My name is Patrick. You're watching the Oilers Rundown. The Edmonton Oilers getting set to take on the Minnesota Wild tomorrow night at 7 p.m. at Rogers Place. But before they do, they made some roster moves tonight. The Oilers have assigned Josh Brown back to the Bakersfield Condors. As we know, he was recently recalled after the injury to Darnell Nurse. But Josh Brown already on his way back to the Condors. He got in a big fight last game. I thought he was starting to show some stuff, so a little bit surprising, but it also probably leans towards Darnell Nurse probably coming back soon here for the Edmonton Oilers. He was originally reported as being out for 5 to 10 days, so I don't think Nurse is going to be ready for tomorrow, but perhaps Saturday's game could see the return of Darnell Nurse. I believe that was alluded to by Bob Stoffer on Oilers Now tonight. With the Oilers sending Josh Brown down to the AHL, they are now back to being under the cap and can accrue cap space. Per Puckpedia, assuming no other roster moves are made, the Oilers can fit $1.4 million at the deadline. We know the Oilers, aside from Darnell Nurse, are also dealing with injuries to Victor Arvidsson, and it's believed Zach Hyman is battling something as well. We haven't heard anything from the Edmonton Oilers today. They were traveling, so we'll probably have to wait till tomorrow to get more news on that end. But if the Oilers are down both Victor Arvidsson and Zach Hyman, there are probably more moves on the way. We believe Kasperi Kapanen is joining the Oilers tomorrow, so that would replace one of the guys, but we may see one other move made by the Edmonton Oilers tomorrow, but let's wait and see what happens on that front. Bob Stoffer also posted today, in my opinion, the Edmonton Oilers' most logical addition via trade at some point will be a puck-moving, second-pairing D with a little term left. Doesn't necessarily need to be a right shot, but the player needs to be comfortable playing the right side. So earlier today, I posted a video taking a look at David Juracek, Ivan Provorov with the Columbus Blue Jackets, Marcus Pedersen with the Pittsburgh Penguins, and looking at the fits with the Edmonton Oilers that way. With what Bob Stoffer is stating here, don't be surprised if it's a left shot guy that can play both the right and the left side. And he also notes the Oilers would probably be like somebody with a little bit of term left. So David Juracek does have two years left on his deal, so... He would kind of fit that mold, but as we talked about earlier today, he is only going to be turning 21, I believe. So still on the younger side, the Oilers probably looking for more of a veteran defenseman. Ivan Provorov, I think, would be a good fit, but he is a pending UFA, as is Marcus Pedersen from the Pittsburgh Penguins. So I don't know if the term thing is uh, 100% has to be that way for the Edmonton Oilers. It might just be a preference, so if it's just a preference, then Marcus Pedersen, Ivan Provorov remain in play. But if the Oilers are looking for somebody with term that can play both the right and the left side, Mike Matheson with the Montreal Canadiens would make a lot of sense. The Edmonton Oilers got a good look at him earlier this week. This has been speculated on by Oilers Nation every day. I've seen a few other people posting about it on Twitter or X, whatever you want to call it. He is a great fit. For the next two years, he's making $4.875 million. The Montreal Canadiens may be willing to eat some of that, bring the money even down further. The Oilers would definitely need some retention or moving a contract out to make that work, but Mike Matheson would almost be an ideal fit for the Oilers, playing with Darnell Nurse in that second pairing or possibly moving down to the left side in the third pairing. So let's see what happens there, guys, but add Mike Matheson as a possible option there for the Edmonton Oilers. Another guy that has some term and has also been speculated on is Rasmus Ristolainen with the Philadelphia Flyers. Bob Stoffer has noted Ristolainen's name a few times, so if the Oilers are looking for guys with term, Rasmus Ristolainen, Mike Matheson, some names out there. Term not an issue, Marcus Pedersen, Ivan Provorov, and as Bob Stoffer alluded to on the broadcast last night, it could also easily be a name that we haven't even heard of yet. Matthias Ekholm didn't enter the trade game until later in the year when the Oilers did acquire him. So we've mentioned a few names here, but Bob Stoffer thinks it could potentially be none of these names, and that certainly would not be a surprise at all. But those are some of the names right now. David Savard, another name with the Montreal Canadiens. That could be a possibility, though I think he's more of a third-pairing guy if the Oilers decide to go that way. But... Those are the names we're hearing about right now, and to sum up, Josh Brown on his way back to the Bakersfield Condors. The Oilers may have one more move on the way for us if both Victor Arvidsson and Zach Hyman are not able to go for tomorrow night's game. But I think that's all I have for now, guys. I'll have more for you tomorrow from Rogers Place, headed to the game tomorrow night for the Oilers in Minnesota Wild, so looking forward to that. 
hopefully the premiere of Kasperi Kapanen as an Edmonton Oiler. Curious to see where the Oilers put him and what he can do in his first game in the orange and blue. So let me know your thoughts on all the moves, on all the news reports in the comment section below. If this is your first visit to the channel and you like what you see, please consider liking and subscribing for all the latest Oilers content. You've been watching the Oilers, Fanatic. Thanks for being a fan.